Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a basic contact form in the Divi Form Builder plugin. So let's get right to it. Okay, so to get started with our Divi Form Builder's basic contact form, all we need to do is start here on a fresh page, or you can use an existing one. I'm here on a basic contact form page I created earlier, but it's got no content. The first thing I'll do is add a row here. And I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to make it a full width row. And then all I need to do is type in form and we'll see the Divi form boulder form module right there. I'll add that one in and we're in the visual boulder. So we're actually going to be able to see the changes we make live since the plugin is 100% boulder compatible. Now, the first important setting that you want to take note of here is the form title. Now we'll just say basic contact form and as you can see here on the left hand side it does populate it right on the screen as you do type it so that's pretty handy if you don't type in a custom form id it'll kind of generate one for you and the important thing to decide here or select here is under form type you want to make sure that contact form is selected we've got a bunch of different types but we're building a contact form let's keep that to contact form you can go ahead and change your submit button text. You can say enter or, you know, send whatever you feel like. That'll be nice and handy. We've got the Ajax filter settings here. And then the scroll to form after submission. These are all things we go into deeper in some of the other videos. We've got a whole Divi 4 module um, video on there for you. So you can definitely get into that and learn a little bit more about what all these different things do. That being said, there's the email notification. This handles the notification that gets sent to the receiver of the email. If email confirmation, that goes to the person that submits the form. If you want to use that, it's by default, it is set to no. Then you've got the notices. Of course, that is the message that gets displayed on the screen or layout with the VForm Boulder. When a form is submitted successfully or unsuccessfully redirects, you can send your user to another page. And on the extra, you have a bunch of different options. But if you want to learn what all these different things do, definitely check out the form module video that'll be linked in the description to find out what all these different things do. But that is for that video. So let's continue on here. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at adding fields to this basic contact form that we're building out. Okay, so adding fields to our Divi form holder contact form is pretty simple. And let's take a look at how we're going to add some of the basic fields that we need. Now, at minimum, your Divi form holder forms need at least one field in there to be functional. Of course, otherwise, you're going to be submitting nothing. Why would you do that? So we're just going to firstly put in a field called name. Super simple. Now you can give it a field ID or it will just generate one from the field title up here. Now, since it's a name, we'll keep that as an input field. You can set the minimum length um, or the maximum length. That's up to you. What type of symbols you want to be able to include or whether it's a required field. Um, we feel the name's pretty important. We'll flip that on. We'll go to layout options here. And here you get to decide how you want the layout of your form to be. Of course, if you say full, four out of four, it's going to be full width. And if you go with two out of three, it'll be two thirds and so forth. It's pretty easy to understand. But we do have some videos in more detail to describe how to play around with those things. Field label position, we can put that right at the top. But, you know, of course, you can go and put it left. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Top works probably best. And placeholder text, we'll just say enter your name. Super simple. And then you can put a description if you like. That doesn't really make sense here, but we can put an icon on the input. And maybe we'll just look for a profile icon. There we go. That makes perfect sense there. You can change the colors if you felt like it, size and so forth. But that is our basic name field for this part. So we're just gonna click the checkbox and we will add another field. Now, since this is a contact form, we probably want the email address to be in there as well. So let's go ahead and for field title, we're gonna put email. Now the field ID is going to auto-generate um, if we don't select something in here. I'm just going to put email field in here. 
so it's easy for me to use. And I'm going to be showing you in one second why we do that. And it's in regards to email correspondence with the user. For the input type, we want to make sure that we put that as an email field. And you will be saying yes as required. And now we're back on layout options here. And we can go for just the full width again. All the same things. We'll put the field label to be at the top. Placeholder text, enter your email. And here we'll put the address or the description. I'm just going to say, put the email you want us to respond to here. So that gives a little bit of extra information for the user. We can add the icon. We're going to go email. And that seems to make perfect sense right there. Now, we're going to select that button right there to save that field in there. But next, we're going to take a, just a quick look at why we put that email field ID in there. So this one that we have right here, email underscore field, and how we're going to use it and why that's important for a contact form. Okay, so I just made you put that email ID with that email field. So let's see where we use that. And we'll, we'll just touch on this, but there is a video dedicated to these various email options that'll teach you pretty much what I'm gonna be skimming over right here in more detail. Email notification is the email that gets sent to the administrator of the site or whoever else is de designated to deal with these emails. And um, then the, we've got the email confirmation here and that goes to the user that submits the form. Now, if we flip this to yes, we'll see here that if you want the send to email to be from one of the forms on the page and it needs to be a, um, an email field then you can select that and then you say the sender email field id so here we would put email underscore field since we created that email id specifically so that's just something to note for email correspondence if you want to pull it from the form that's being submitted it's a very handy feature that makes your forms just a bit more dynamic so definitely check out our email settings video for all the information that you'll need to master this part of the Divi form builder. Okay, so now that we've covered all of that, why don't we jump on the front end of the site to see how the form operates when an actual user is gonna be using this. Now, we can already see what it'll look like. We know that we can go to design to go and change all these different settings. Definitely check out our video on the form builder module to learn how to use most of those settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save the form. And I will just open up this view page in a new tab. And here we've got our form. I type in my name. I type in test at test.com. And I hit that send button. And then we can see that our form has been submitted successfully. So there you go. This is how you build a basic contact form in the Divi form builder. And there you have it, folks. This is how you build a basic contact form using the Divi form builder plugin. Of course, we can go into a lot more detail about different things to do. That's why I suggest that if this video did not answer your questions about the Divi form builder, definitely check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com for all the information you need on Divi form builder and its various features. And of course, as always, if you get stuck, don't hesitate to submit a support ticket with us. Awesome support team and somebody will help you out. So guys, with that, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to be catching you guys in the next video.